6.4 number 11. Another trinomial, and we want to factor by trial and error. So let's first look at the different factors of the first term. So we have 2 times 2 and 4 times 1. Last term, 3 times 3 or 9 times 1. So we're going to want to put in all possible combinations for the binomial and see which one gives us the right middle term. So let's start with the 2x and 2x. And let's see if the signs can help us this time. We know that the factors of 9 have to multiply to give a positive, so they're going to be same sign. We also know they have to add up to be a negative. That means they need to be negatives. So we can be helped by the signs right now. We know that we need minus minus in our two binomials. And then let's just start with the 3 and see what happens. 3 times 3. Middle term, minus 6, minus 6 is minus 12x. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for minus 15, so we keep going. And remember, I don't need to switch these guys around at all because I'm just going to get the same middle term anyways. So 2x take away, 2x take away, and now we're going to try 9 and 1. And again, I'm not going to need to redo and put the 1 and the 9 in different order because these first terms are both the same. So I'll still get the same middle term. Middle is minus 18, minus 2, minus 20x. Not what we're looking for. We'll keep going. So we're done with all the possibilities for the 2x. Now we switch over to 4x and x. And now we are going to have to think about rotating the pieces um, to, because we're going to get different middle terms if we have two different factors that we put in there. Still get minus minus. Let's start with the 3. Middle term minus 3x minus 12x. Yep. So it's minus 15x. And that's what we're looking for. So we know that this is the right factoring. And if that didn't work, we'd go in and put the 9 and the 1. If the 9, 1 didn't work, we'd do 1, 9. We'd switch it because these first terms are different. And the last term factors are also different. So you've got to work all possible combinations.